But we begin tonight with the latest on three fishermen who went missing off the coast of Martha's Vineyard. Good evening, I'm Kim Kalunian. And I'm Mike Montecalfo. We've been tracking their disappearance since last night. The Coast Guard has now called off the search for the men. Their boat, the Leonardo, was operating with a four-man crew when it went down about 24 nautical miles south of the island. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Nesbitt is live in New Bedford where that scalloping boat is based out of with more. Rob? The search for the three fishermen was suspended just before 6 p.m. New Bedford Mayor John Mitchell tweeted out his prayers and support for their family members who sent the crew off from these docks over the weekend. I got to keep the faith and, and keep positive attitude, you know, I have to. Alicia Marks was at the New Bedford Piers Monday, keeping faith that her brother, Michael Cormier Jr., is alive. The fisherman is missing along with Gerald Brettel and Xavier Vega after their scallop boat sank off the coast of Martha's Vineyard. He's been fishing off and on boats for scallop boats for since he was 17. He made his first trip, so it's not like he's not experienced. You know, he knows what he's doing. He knew to get off that boat. According to Marks, her brother was able to jump off the Leonardo before it sank. In this video, obtained by Eyewitness News, the Coast Guard rescued Ernesto Santos an hour and a half into the search Sunday, but his three fishing mates were not found. We need the most prayers possible for my, for my brother. Marks isn't giving up hope that her brother found his way to safety and will also find his way home. We're just we're praying that he's holding on to something or he was able to make it to an island or, or something and he's swimming out there. Santos was suffering from mild hypothermia when he was rescued, but in good condition, according to the Coast Guard. They also said that he was not wearing a life jacket when he was found, and he indicated that the other three weren't either. Live in New Bedford, Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.